poles are shifting, but not in the way that you think. Not from south to north and north to south, but from north to south. To east and west. They can't even hide it anymore. Our current system, where free energy flows continuously in the ground in the form of radioactive material. These current poles allow us to harvest energy in these radioactive rocks, which we have to have a license to possess now. It is currently illegal to have free energy material, and it is easy for those in control to make sure that no one can have it. The system we just came from in the previous age and the system that we are about to move into, the age of air, where free energy is harvested freely in the air. Our current cell, a galvanic cell with a negative anode and a positive cathode, connected by a salt bridge, which is the ocean. When you flip the poles of a galvanic cell, it becomes an electrolytic cell. While a galvanic cell that we are currently in makes chemical energy into electrical energy, an electrolytic cell makes electrical energy into chemical energy. The cell that we are moving into would make lightning, aurora borealis, and plasma everywhere constant. This would be easy to harvest energy from the air. It would also make a constant supply of ozone, which would purify all of the water, dirt, air, constantly. More oxygen would enable us to be physically larger. At a higher atmospheric pressure, it would allow us to run long distances and not have to take breaks. It would allow us to heal our wounds at an impressive rate, and it would allow us to not be affected by venomous bites. What I have found is that ozone at our current atmospheric pressure is very selective with what it allows to live and what it forces to die. A steady production of ozone worldwide would mean that there would be a constant warm temperature kept everywhere and nowhere would be left cold. This puts a whole new meaning to why old buildings and old mansions have no heating systems and have big drafty windows and doors that would make absolutely no sense if they were built today in our current fluctuating, constantly changing climate. Whether you believe that this world is coming within our lifetime or whether it's beyond, it is coming. The age of air will allow us to harvest energy freely without having to rely on big companies to do it for us. We won't have to worry about viruses and getting sick from the water, polluted food, or the air. Can you even imagine a time where you won't have to worry about the incoming winter? Not having to worry about every year when it gets to that time where you can't even leave your home because it's too cold? Have you wondered how the natives survived? Maybe they were in a different time. Maybe they were in a time where they didn't have to worry about the water being contaminated, the air being dirty, or food being polluted. Maybe they could run for miles and not have to take a breath. Maybe they were physically bigger and were able to take on bigger game. It's quite possible that them living in the dirt and living amongst nature is just a story. Maybe they lived in 
technologically advanced societies that we can't even imagine right now because we're stuck in our galvanic cell. The North Pole has always had an ozone hole, right in the center. Recently, it spontaneously closed up for no reason. Now, they're saying that an ozone hole is opening up over Africa. Is it just a coincidence that the pole happens to be shifting east? Is it one big coincidence that ozone reached astronomically record levels last year alone? Will destruction surely follow when the poles shift and our current electrical system doesn't work anymore? When there's spontaneously, all of a sudden, more electricity in the air? Things won't work the same way that they used to. And things that used to work are going to come alive again. Yeah.